This question is about circular motion. Pause the recording and take a few moments to read through the question carefully, picking out key information as you go. So I'm going to start by drawing a very rough and ready diagram of the situation that we have here. So we have our plane and it's banking. So it's at an angle and the angle is 30 degrees to the horizontal. And some other key facts that we need to know are that the radius of the turn is 10 kilometers and the plane maintains a constant height above the ground. So let's start by considering what forces are acting on the plane. Now one force acting on the plane will be the weight which will be acting downwards. And another force acting on the plane will be the lift due to the wings which will act at a right angle to the wings and we'll call that uh, force due to the wings. Now if we consider this lift force you should notice that it can be resolved into two components. So one that is vertical and one that is horizontal. And given that our angle there is 30 degrees, our vertical force will be our lift force times cos of 30 and our horizontal force will be the lift force times the sine of 30. So let's start by considering the forces that are acting vertically. So if we know that the plane maintains a constant height above the ground, if it's flying level, then the forces must be balanced, they're acting on it vertically. So that tells us that the vertical component of the lift must be equal to the weight. And we can rearrange that to find an expression for the lift force, which will be mg over cos 30. Now let's consider what's going on horizontally. And here we have the horizontal component of the lift force. And that is what's actually providing the force needed to turn. That's the centripetal force here that's making the plane move in the circle. So our horizontal component of the lift force will be equal to the centripetal force, which is given by mv squared over r. Now in this question, we've been asked to find what is the speed of the plane. So it's the v here that we're interested in finding. So we can rearrange this expression to say that v will be the square root of the lift force times sine 30 times r over m. And we already have um, another expression for the lift force, which we got from the previous calculation considering the vertical forces. So that's mg over cos 30 times sine 30 r over m. So the mass of the plane cancels out and we're left with the velocity being the square root of gravitational acceleration times the radius of the turn times tan of 30 degrees. So we can put in the numbers that we know at this point. So gravitational acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. The radius of this turn is 10 kilometers, so 10,000 meters. And tan 30, we can type into our calculator. And that gives us the answer that the velocity of the plane must be 238 meters per second.